it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review and try on of the brand Redux. This brand is most widely known for their big selection of vintage Levi's jeans. So what they do is they take vintage Levi's and repurpose them into new one-of-a-kind denim and their quantities are always super limited. I've always wanted a pair of Redux jeans but just couldn't get around to buying them for $300 especially when I usually get my vintage Levi's at the Melrose flea market for about $50. But when I got the email that they were having a sale, I had to jump on it because the prices were so good. Usually they're priced at $300, but they were marked down to $100. The vintage Levi's that I have right now are really big on me. They grow as I wear it, so I'm looking for a better fitting jean that still has that vintage feel. Before we get started, I do want to share about my first shopping experience with Redone. Uh, after I placed my order, it took 11 days and two times of me reaching out for my order to actually be shipped. And once it shipped, it took two days for it to arrive. And when I opened my order, one of the jeans I had ordered was the wrong size. So then I had to reach back out to the customer service again. I took them two days to respond and then they told me that the jean that I had ordered is out of stock. So I had to return that one and then place a different order for a new jean. Um, I'm not sure if it was just my order that it happened to. Uh, if you guys have had a similar experience with this company, please let me know in the comments down below. It could just be that I had bad luck with this order. Anyway, back to the topic of this video, I did get two pairs of jeans. And the first jean I got is the Crawford jean in the color Super Light. I got it in the size 25, which is my regular pant size. And Cindy Crawford actually collaborated with the brand a few months back and made this style of jean that was inspired by her favorite vintage Levi's. These jeans are a light wash with some stretch in it. There's no distressing at all in the front or back and they have like a straight leg at the bottom. And for the branding, this brand takes off the Levi's patch on the back and just puts on their own patch. So on this one, it has Cindy's signature with Redone Originals. And then on the inside says the Crawford and also says Made in USA. On the front, it is a button front closure and it has custom branding on it that says Redone Originals. Oh, I actually didn't know this until just now. So I guess you can register your jeans unique serial number located on the inside pocket at shopredone.com slash repairs for life and enjoy free repairs for life. It says if your jean rips or tears, just send it to us and we will patch it up for you at no charge. Just because your jean is on its second life doesn't mean it should be its last. That's actually a really nice touch. Um, because these are made of vintage fabric, they are super delicate, so I think that's a really nice service that this company offers. Here's the Crawford jean on. I think it fits really well. It's perfect around my waist and the style really elongates my legs. It is a tad bit long but looks okay with these heels. I think if I wear it with other shoes, I can just roll it up and make it more of a cropped length. There's definitely some stretch in it, so I'm hoping it doesn't stretch too much after wearing it for a long time. I'll post an update in the comment section below after wearing it a few times to see how much it stretches, so definitely check back there soon. Moving on to the second jean. The second jean is the straight skinny jean. Um, this one is also in the size 25. This one was originally $302, but I got it on sale for $166. These ones are one-of-a-kind jeans. I noticed on the website that the one-of-a-kind jeans are all taken with flat product shots and there's no model shots, so I'm hoping that this one will really fit. On their website, you can just filter by your size, so it's super easy just to see all the jeans that are available in your size. These are the straight skinny jeans on, and as you can see, they're really big, especially on the waist. I think it fits more like a size 27 than 25, so I'm thinking it's either missized or these jeans just run really big. I do, however, like how the waistband is not perfectly straight across in the front. It slants down and would really accentuate the waist. It just doesn't really look good on me because it's too big. Another thing I really like in these jeans is that you can really tell that there's two different types of denim fabrics in this jean, especially when you're looking at it from the side seam. It makes these jeans really unique and one of a kind. Other than the shipping issues, I'm very happy with my purchase of the Crawford jean. However, for the other one, I'm disappointed because I wish I had bought a smaller size. But on the website, it did say to buy your true size. So I'm going to reach out to the customer service again and see if they can accommodate a return for me just because of the inconvenience of my first shopping experience. 
Since the cropper jean is more on the mass produced side as opposed to the one of a kind side, then I think that's why the sizing was so off for me. So if you're looking to buy the cropper jean, then definitely buy your size, but for any of the one of a kind jeans, then I'd suggest going a size down. The sales section is still really full, so I'll leave a link to that page down below, as well as any other styles that I see that are really cute and are worth buying. If you guys have an Instagram, feel free to follow me at Julia Sud to see how I style these jeans. I'm always wearing jeans, so I'm definitely going to be living in these this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions on the sizing and the fit, then leave me a comment down below. And if you guys have any shopping experience that you want to share, then definitely you can do that too. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.